Helen, Georgia. While it might look like Germany, this barbarian style town actually sits on the southern feet of the Appalachian Mountains here in America. Starting out as a logging town, it was officially incorporated in 1913. In fact, the name Helen comes from a lumber official's daughter and has no direct ties to the German look and feel it's known for today. In the 1960s, the local business community pulled together to try to figure out a way to survive the challenging economic situation they were in. One of the businessmen suggested they seek help from a member of his church, John Kolak. Kolak was an artist who also served time for the U.S. military in southern Germany. Together, they found a solution to Helen's economic woes, tourism. Today it's clear, that unusual idea actually worked. Betty's Country Store should be the first stop on your list. They offer fresh made sandwiches from their full service deli, which can be enjoyed with a local beer or even some wine from Georgia's growing wine region that's just miles away. Next, get some supplies for the weekend and maybe even a few early souvenirs before you head down Main Street. Getting into the heart of Main Street, you'll quickly realize how popular Helen actually is. No matter what time of year, there's always a reason. Christmas markets in the winter, beautiful Georgia weather in the summer, or even the changing autumn leaves. There's always a reason to come. Of course, any weekend trip should include some shopping. Both along Main Street and through the corridors perpendicular to it, you'll find whatever you're looking for. It's all here. Our top pick is probably Wildwood. On the south side of the street, just behind the main shops, they offer a selection of home decor, jewelry, clothing, leather goods, and even more. You'll never know what you're going to find. When you finish up shopping, it's usually time to refuel with some German beer. Head over to the beer garden in the center of town where there's always a crowd. The garden often features live music, which can make for a really good afternoon. Another great tip is that most of the bars, including the garden, will sell you a plastic liter mug with your beer. You can take this mug from one bar to the next and get discounted refills. While a beer garden is, of course, very German, there's an international touch to this area. You'll find an English pub and even some Dutch ceramics. Going back to the earliest days where the lumber industry formed Helen, the Chattahoochee River was a strategic part of that history. Today, however, it gives the more adventure-seeking types a bit more to do off of Main Street. There are paths and trails starting downtown that go in all directions. Most notably, the 1,000-acre Unicoi State Park is within hiking distance from downtown and offers tons of outdoor options as well as camping if that's more your speed. In the warmer months, we really recommend you shoot the hooch, which is a local term for tubing the river. We usually go with cool river tubing, and for around 15 to 20 bucks, you can rent a tube and choose between a one or two hour trip down the river. There are a few exciting parts on the Chattahoochee, but generally speaking, it's calm, shallow, and something even a non-swimmer could do. There are many other attractions in the area, but one of the must-dos is visiting the Anna Ruby Falls. They're about 15 minutes north of Main Street and are well worth the trip. Parking is available, and while it's not flat, the hike over the falls is a relatively light 10 minutes. Going back into town, on the north side of Main Street, along the river, you'll find a wide selection of inns and rentable condos available that range in both price and quality. We typically stay in the Quality Inn. It's near Betty's Country Store, and while it's on the older side, we've always had a good experience there. If you are staying on this side of town, however, Big Daddy's is a nice spot for dinner. Although, if you're like me, and forgo the fancy side of town for the more local dive bar experience, Slice of Helen is where you'll want to be. I also have to mention the Riverside Park. It's an easy go-to for families during the warmer months, but for us, it holds a different and very special place in our hearts. This pavilion is actually where I proposed to my wife, and it's symbolic of my feelings for her. 
While in a single lifetime, a lumber town may become a German-themed tourist attraction, and what's popular today could be irrelevant tomorrow, over a lifetime, my love for her will be as steady as this river. If you watch any of my other videos, you'll know that we like to test out the nightlife. Believe it or not, Helen has this too. Paul's on the River is a higher-end, well-liked restaurant in the area, and we actually haven't been there yet. But the best spot in Helen that I'm talking about is just behind it, Paul's Margarita Deck. It's family-friendly for most of the day, and they always have food options available. Burgers, wings, snacks, that sort of thing. Then in the evening, it all changes. They play live music, and they serve their drinks in 32-ounce yellow mugs. Everyone in Helen that's been waiting for a drink, or anyone who's been sitting at the beer garden all day, will be there. Trust me. Finally, and it goes without saying, small German towns and Christmas go hand in hand. And of course, Helen does that too. It might not snow very much in this part of the country, but with all the lights, it gets just cold enough to feel right. No matter who you are, no matter how old you are, whether you've only traveled for one hour to escape the chaos of Atlanta, or if you're from overseas touring the United States, trying to find all the quirks that it has hidden within it, I promise you one thing, Helen, Georgia will make you happy.